So for the nose control, we kind of wanted to have three controllers, one to control this side, another one control this side, and one more controlling the middle part. Okay. So let me go to the side view, and then we can go ahead and create a joint. Uh, so skeleton, create joint. Okay. And then what we can do is we can just put it here, right? So we can hold it on V and click. And it's not in there. Let's, let me just cannot really do that, huh? Let's try that again. Uh, oh, that's because I don't really show the joints. <laughs> Sorry about that. So let me go show joints, and that way I can see my joint. So skeleton, create joint, and I'll put one right here. Okay. All right, now that's going to be one of the joints. We can move it over to the side. How can make the radius to appears to be bigger? All right. I drag it backwards just a little bit. All right. Uh, then we can control D to duplicate. Actually, we just need to mirror it over. That's right. So we can grab that guy, and then the head joint. We hit the P button to mirror it over. We can name this guy uh, JT underscore. That's gonna be the right side nose and then we simply do a mirror joint yeah that should allow us to just mirror it over okay forget to change the name but that should be very easy to do anyways make sure that they are parented to the head let's see this should be sometimes you if you're not careful you may parent those guys to the jaw joint <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we just need to have one more joint in the middle. So let me go ahead and do that the from view and then I'm going to create a joint and this time maybe just actually go to the sub view. It's easier and <laughs> drag it over here. Make the radius bigger. We can reposition it anywhere any time we want it and then we can then just parent, parent it to the head joint. So this, cause this is gonna be the JT underscore uh, nose um, middle or middle underscore nose. All right, that's our three controllers, three joints. Okay. Now we need to give them controller. So let me grab all three of those guys. Go to directly the, the create controller part. Okay. And we can use constraint this time because connection doesn't work anymore. Connection needs to connect to those values, but those values are already not zero. So if you do connection, it's going to move them back to the origin. Okay, so you, or move them back to where that is actually. But we can do some trick to make that work. Um, but for now, let's just not worry about that. Okay, and we don't make, uh, this does not support make follow scan if you do uh, constraint nodes is one thing to be aware of. Anyway, we do parent constraint and we do scale constraint. Okay. And then we just do a create and we will have three controllers created for us. All right. Let me grab all three, isolate, go to component mode, can uh, drag this guy out, this guy out, and this guy out. All right. Cool. So afterwards, it's time to add our joint go to the object mode grab our joints right one two three and then the geometry we do again skin added influence and add influence and then we can do a pen skin weighting all right grab that guy I can unlock those things okay so for the side I'm going to select the influence and I just add a whole lot around this area. Okay. I'm not sure if this is good or not yet, but I can go for a smooth flat. Maybe too much. Just flat it once. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look. I'm going to grab the controller. Show no joints. Let's drag it over up and down. You can see this part probably needs a little bit more uh, tweaking. So let me go to the pen skin weighting and go here. I'm going to use 
replace and add a little bit more here just to be able to push those geometries out. Okay, maybe that one. A bit of that. Because this isn't like modeling. The difference is you're using weighting to model it. <laughs> right. To get a better shape. I wanted to have more control over this part. Okay. Smooth that out. All right. That feels better. Well, no one would really push that far. But we could uh, make it a little bit more smoother just in case. I don't know how far the animator would push it. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Let's zero that out. Okay. And now we can go to skin, mirror skin weight. Right. To mirror the weighting over to the other side also. And we can also grab the pen the skin weighting again and grab the middle guy here. Um, the short joints. And the no joints, right? We can pan over here on the nose in the middle. And again, we smooth and flat it a few times to get a smooth transition. And let's take a look. All right, now we can use our controller to change the direction of the nose. We can use rotation also. And we can even expand it if we wanted to or drag it out. <laughs> anyway. I think it takes a little bit too much control down there. I paint the skin waiting here and I grab the head joint. Make the head to take over uh, things back a little bit over here. Right. And also we do a uh, skin, mirror skin weight. Alright, that should be fun. Again, no one would go too extreme anyways. So you don't you don't have to worry about does this look good enough or not it's not gonna be happening at all all right now eventually we just give them hot color coding this one will be blue and this one will be red and this one will be yellow okay now some cleanup in the hierarchy and just grab all three ACs, control G, AC underscore nose, GRP. I'm, the parent, I'm just going to parent that to the Rainer facial rake group. Okay, so that's going to be the nose part, right? Just two controls on the side and one in the middle. Okay, cool. So let's move on to the next video and keep on doing the rest of the face.